Martin, 30 yeah. years, almost 30 years, 25, um, of AHA. I do yeah. remember those years very well, I suppose, I must say. You? Yes, yes. <laughs> Why now the end? Well, I don't see it as the end. I see it as the beginning of, of something new. Uh, it's, we've given AHA everything so many times. And uh, I think it's wonderful to be able to, to stop like this and, and look back and embrace 25 years of, uh, of, a, of a great career. Of a, so many things that have that we've that we have that that it's taken us through. Uh, it's a privilege to to be in that position to 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 walk off the stage after a, another uh, successful round again. Mm -hmm. um, so there's every reason to be thankful for for a lot of things. Uh, so you want uh, want to to stop? I think I, don't, I know it's not the nicest word to say mm. stop, but to end uh, aha before it is ended in a way, or yeah, bef be before you just uh, you be before it kind of falls apart. Right. For me, it's not because I need to kick Madden and Paul out of my life. Uh, so yeah. there, you know, the anything can happen, uh, anything. But I, for me, I need I need to have a an open horizon. Um, and uh, and this will give me that. It doesn't mean I'm not going to collaborate. I, you know, it's. I don't know. I don't. I actually don't want to know. I need to not know. I need Carry it to on. just be like that. I need to need it to be uncertain. It will produce other things, or for all of us. Would you call them uh, your friends after all those years? No. Of, of course. I mean, I. <laughs> What is a friendship? Good uh, question. Yeah, <laughs> so maybe we should start there. <laughs> but I mean, will you have contact uh, right now after after splitting up? Well, we're not. We are more friends than we are business partners. Put mm -hmm. it that way. But but more than any of that, we are we are partners in a in a response to music that that we where we have. Common things that that, um, in spite of the huge characteristic differences between the three of us, because we are very very different put together as persons as personalities, mm -hmm. we we're responding. Uh, our our, uh, our ambitions are in in many ways on the same level, not the same ambitions. But they're on the same level. We are. Uh, we expect a, a lot from ourselves and from the team, from each other. Uh, and in this way, we meet up. And so it's it's the kind of the the dream of that band that brought us together, mm -hmm. and is the mo is the powerful thing that is that is really keeping us together. And then friendship comes with it mm -hmm. along the way and also falling out disagreements everything that goes with it so let's talk <laughs> about your fans you won't remember but in march i remember fans 1992. yes i remember fans yeah no no i mean you won't remember me okay because we had a deep eye contact when you were on and the I, stage and i and you don't think i'll <laughs> and remember I was it down there were and you I was, really i was convinced that you were just watching me like everybody else in that room <laughs> every girl was convinced and hmm. um, so this is a long time ago um and i think you don't remember me because i changed so much did you let's talk about your fans who changed um with all these years um but i don't you think your spirit changed <laughs> no but um so maybe you don't know what behavior. i was looking at maybe <laughs> Their behavior. I mean, um, I, I've heard that they've um, been throwing uh, underwear and flowers and teddy bears. What are they f throwing now? Uh, rocks. <laughs> 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 really, is it that bad? <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, is there anything you can tell um, there's a difference in the audience? They're getting more kinky, so now we <laughs> get the underwear from the teddy bears. <laughs> so. Uh, no, mm. Paul, for instance, Paul said uh, that now you have like three generations of audience. 
of fans. Mm. One, and in the very two, beginning, maybe it was, three, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> because the younger um, uh, generation comes to your concert as well. Mm. But they are still the, the first generation of the late 80s. And then you have the 80s ladies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then you have their kids that come with their uh, moms and our dads. And then you have the kids that are the kids, they're not kids anymore and they don't want their dads or mothers with them. <laughs> so you don't really recognize that, that um, they've grown up? I, of course I do. <laughs> so, but there are some people that you recognize because they are incredibly, I don't, I don't know how they do it, but, but some, some people, some fans, uh, and they all have their own, they all have their own reasons for, for doing what they do and being there. And that, for me, I've never really been comfortable with the term fan because it's such a general statement about people that are not the same, you know, they are so, they're individuals, all of them, and I, I, th I think of them as people, mm. you know, I'm not, it's not a homogenous group. Watching the old videos from the late 80s, Take mm. On Me, for instance, seeing yourself, what do you think? Well, I, I don't really like myself in it, but I, uh, so nothing has changed. I didn't do it when I saw it the first time either. <laughs> <laughs> now, is there anything um, when it comes to fashion or even to, to your personal um, um, emotions when you see yourself? I mean, it's a long time ago. I, yeah, which I don't normally like to see myself. So I try to avoid it. Okay. Hmm. But I because this was a personal question, right? Yeah. Right. Then you got the right answer. <laughs> but I don't believe you, because okay. otherwise you wouldn't have uh, you wouldn't have had such an outstanding career. I mean, everybody but, but likes I, to watch I, you. I, I, I believe you. you, me. I didn't buy any of our records, <laughs> so our career has nothing to do with uh, my uh, financial support. No, no, no. I, I was not a fan. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure um, you're, you're saying the truth, but um, because I, I bought them. <laughs> yeah. No, but um, I mean... Um, but I don't like to see myself that's on weird, camera. That's weird, though. Because, um, Why is that weird? Because it's, I think it's natural. Okay. I think it, no, because you um, have such a self-confidence. Everybody likes to watch you. Everybody loves to watch you. Talks about your yeah, but my self-confidence isn't necessarily based on my looks. Isn't it? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> no, but it's that's based interesting. On, it's based on who I am, what I am. And um, what would you say? Who are you? Who am you I? Say, you say you don't like to watch you yourself? I sense, in this, me, in this way, I mean that I sense my potential, all the things and, and in a world of potentials you know, and, uh, and of opportunities. And I know, I sense my capacity. I know that I can do a lot of things. And I am, my, my pain is in not being able to do all the things I would like to do. For instance, <laughs> there is so much I could, I could spend my, uh, my, um, well, my cell phone, uh, where I know I could make a difference. I know I could make something come alive or uh, make something work. In many fields, really, anything in, uh, in, in other, in other in other forms of art. Mm -hmm. It could be in sculpting or in painting, drawing. It could be in the industrial design. In, uh, and, but it requires the time to do it or, or challenges to do that. In, uh, in the fields of psychology, uh, for that sake, I, what I am good at is asking right questions. And that's where it all starts. That's absolutely true. Yeah. <laughs> um, but let's get back to um, to the eighties fashion and the videos. I read that your daughter mm. said um, she loves uh, your style in those videos. What yeah. would you say if she's she came never, up with a guy like? She's like never that? liked what I wear today. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say if she came up with a guy like that? With a guy like that? Yeah, like you wear. 
what can I say? It's her life. <laughs> I would try and check out the guy's uh, character. That would matter to me. I don't care what he wears. <laughs> and I, I didn't really mean just just um, his his exterior and his his looks. Also the the internal side. If he was like me, mm -hmm. good luck. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, she, she once said that she would have loved to spend uh, more time with you. What mm. did you feel when you, when you heard that? I heard it now. Do you, do she you never says that to me. <laughs> okay, I read it in an interview you both no, did she, together. No, she, she would I like mean, that. But she, she needs to... I would like that too. But she, she needs to make, make it happen from her end as well. Because she's always busy. And, uh, and because I'm away the way I am, she needs to pay more attention to my schedule and see that, okay, there's an opening there. I need to make sure that I am also available then, then we can meet. And I have actually honestly made a lot of attempts to spend more time with Tamina, mm -hmm. because I, I, we both need it mm -hmm. for obvious reasons. Uh, but she's a teenager and she has, she's busy. She has her own schedule and she isn't, she isn't old enough to understand mm -hmm. that she actually needs to make it a, a thing of the calendar. It took a long time for me to understand that. If you want to respect family time, you have to book it mm -hmm. as a business booking because the sneaky part of the business calendar is that it actually takes up the year, mm -hmm. whether it's a business year or it's a leisure year or family year, it's the same year. And when it's crossing out reds everywhere, you have to do it also on behalf of family time. And um, she's not your only um, child. I think you have five kids, is yeah. that right? Mm. So um, you In been, Norway. Mm. It's really um, a busy life from a familiar point of view even, now. Yeah, it is. Because they're, they're, they're spread I mean, they, they out. They have even a wide range when it comes oh, to the age. <laughs> age. Yeah, wide, wide range. From nearly two to 21. Mm. That's amazing. <laughs> I think it's normal. I think it's natural, I mean. I don't think any, everyone has five kids, but, but I am fortunate to have five. And um, how, how do you cope with, um, I mean, it's, it's five kids and it's um, different mothers? Is of it, course. Is it, of course. <laughs> is it um, difficult to, to cope with that situation or? I, would, I, w I wouldn't be comfortable about producing five kids on one woman. It would be too much to ask, I think. <laughs> What do you mean, too much to ask? For one woman to carry five children. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, no. It's, it's, ha it's what's happened. Yeah. What are you doing in two years? You're stopping now in December, and then let's let's say two years. Martin Harkett, what's he going to do? Is he singing? Is he doing a different profession? Is he a psychologist? Is he a creative? You 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 said that you would like to be more creative. I will. I think it's better to wait for the two years to arrive. So no plans. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying to to talk about plans. I don't. If I. Uh, When I talk to media, it's because I, it's, for, it's for very real reasons. I, I don't speculate on what I will be doing. Okay, so you won't tell us if you, if you plan to continue your, your career as a singer? No, but I am instance. me. Mm -hmm. And you're a singer. And I am, for one, I am a singer. I can respond to things that way. It would be, uh, you know, unlikely that uh, I just stop singing. I don't think that's going to happen. Okay. So there's hope for us to hear your lovely voice again. If you want to put it that way. <laughs> yes, I want. <laughs> hello. I didn't see that you were there, but hello. We've been sitting here for, for half an hour and I haven't noticed you. But we are actually on uh, Heute Leute on ZDF. And we're having a good time. <laughs>